can Masta really use his explosive combos to, you know, out damage this, Peach. This game has nothing to do with Master Mario. It's all about how Razo's going to approach the matchup. And if Philip, the lucky alpaca, is going to give Razo all the stitches. For those who didn't see it, we had Philip on a little bit earlier in the stream. Philip is uh, going to be Raza's mascot. But hey, why talk about Philip when we can talk about main stage in the OC Japan Fair? Be sure to check out both those events. Um, main stage is going to be next weekend in Ontario. So if you're in SoCal, you should definitely check it out. It's going to be a great event. A lot yeah, of talent going to be there. Don't forget about our Halloween special, 2GG Nightmare on Smashville. Right again. Uh, Sorry, these slides are going too fast. Oh, <laughs> they are so fast. And why should you attend main stage? Because it has a summit raffle, VIP, a 24-hour venue with friendlies, and a bunch of other reasons. I will, uh, <laughs> I'll fix that. In a yeah. <laughs> Don't forget about OC Japan Fair and then Nightmare on Smashville. You know, trick or treat, Hall Halloween costume. You know, I ordered, uh, music, costume. Yeah, dude, I, I've been playing a lot of Three Houses lately. Uh, gonna try to cosplay uh, Caspar. Right, I'm gonna go back. Probably to one this. of my favorite characters. Caspar? Yeah. Dude, and an Caspar? after party at Nuts. Yeah, dude, Caspar is so cool. Caspar? Yeah. Out of everyone in that game, you chose Caspar? Dude, Caspar is a pretty cool dude. I, uh, I like Caspar. Is he, like, the best, like, broken, amazing unit? No. Like that, that honor goes to Lysithia. I would put Casper right next to Cyril. Really? No, no he he's not is that bad. In the gutter. Get him off my roster. Oh my! If I could God. kick someone out of class. <laughs> dude, no, you don't understand, dude. Casper was like the OG, like, like you want something dead, he will kill it for you, like kind of unit. Dude, quadding with knuckles. Oh my God. And it, I admit, I admit, his his school design, kind of doo doo. Not gonna lie about that. Why else but am I gonna judge him off of? The, his his his, no. his war design. No. His war design no. is like ten times cooler. No. Oh my god. No. Oh my god. Casper can kick rocks. Uh. And into grand finals we go. Raza versus Master Mario. Uh. And yet again, getting that fair string, but yet again, oh. doesn't matter when Peach can just shove her booty right in your face and. Just break any momentum that you had, dude. That bear is just so huge. Like, it, it, it covers. It's like, all about the love. Yeah. Tempo. It's all about the love that you bring with. It's much, much like your love for Casper. You must use it to your advantage. Just like Rosie used back in. Yeah. Okay. I guess they don't call it love handles for nothing. Ooh. Boo. <laughs> yeah. 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 Boo me. Boo me all you want. <laughs> Are you booing me? I'm right. <laughs> okay, drop down forward is gonna land for Razo. I feel like it's gonna be a little bit more difficult to land his back airs against Razo. We've seen I mean, who, Mario throw out a lot of them. Right, but I mean, who needs the back air when you can just read the get up option and get an up smash? I mean, you can't read them all though. You can't read them all. <laughs> just statistically speaking, you're gonna eventually guess wrong. So. Okay, throwing out a couple of fireballs. Good parries from that Razo. Oh, I love that upbeat, kind of just breaking any combo that Razo was going to throw out at him. But here we go, trying to grab, but no, Razo just kind of just dashing away just a little bit just to avoid the potential grab and punishing it with a bear out of shield too. But yet again, trying to punish him for that and not going to work out for him. Yeah, the fact that like, Razo doesn't even have to really respect the fireballs because they bounce so low. Uh, he can really just float it and then either maintain his position or approach if he feels like he wants to. Right? I mean, he has Mario in the air. That That's Peach's territory. That's where, like, oh, you're approaching me now? Really? Okay, I'll just throw out this bear. Because, like, what, what else are you going to do? But yet again, Master Mario reading the defensive option right there. And yet again, you don't need to find all the reads in the world. You just need to find the one that kills. That's true. Some are definitely more important than the others. And sometimes it's not a, even a matter about reading an opponent, it's just about conditioning them. Right. Forcing them to really recover a certain way. But Snipe Master Razo able to clean up a stock from across stage with the help of a turnout. 
I love the Z drop right there just to prevent Master Mario from uh, pursuing his aggression even further beyond. There we go. Down throw to the up air strings. And there's the fair. And no, no, Razo, no. You are not making it back. Oh, my God. I was about to say, Razo, please do not make it back from that. I know Peach's recovery is like dummy thick and like stupid broken. But if, if she could recover from that, that would actually be busted. That would be busted? With everything else in her case, yeah, that, that would be busted on top of everything else. It's not the only thing that's busted, but that would be particularly busted. Okay, well, taking out game one with a good conversion into forward air. Now Master Mario and Razo going to game two. Of course, Master Mario being on the loser side, he is going to have to win a full set just to have an opportunity to win the tournament. All right. Uh oh. Oh, there's. Wow, that was extreme lag on our end. Our bad. But looks like the players didn't have to experience that, so they're just going to continue trucking right on through. Gets the grab. Gets the war bear, and yet again, what's the play? Oh my God. Okay, down to the back air. <laughs> Catching the flow with another back air. Using the flood, forcing Raza into the air just a little bit longer. Oh, but Raza was covering high with the Peach Bomber. Dude, I love the threat of the turn in because, like, when you see an, an object or just, like, a projectile, like, covering the normal get-up option, people on instinct are going to want to roll in. And you saw Raza banking on that back. And, you know, it gets the punish and the, the, off of that. But... Master Mario gonna find the kill. Also down here the next, but ooh, big trade going in Raza's favor. Yeah. Ooh, catches the air dodge and Sniped. yep. Tried catching it, but unfortunately just gonna mistime it just a little bit. And I love that mixing up how he's long he's gonna approach to force out the spot dodge. And there we go. Amazing parries from Razo's part, but unfortunately not gonna be able to capitalize it out as well as he could have. Back here. Mario has been stuck on the right side of the stage for a very long time, only to get sent to the left side. Now that Master Mario's finally got his feet planted again, gonna take a little bit, a little bit of uh, finessing to make sure that he can stay on stage. There's the up air to there, and that will be the kill. Wow, I'm amazed that he was able to, you know, double jump and get that there and have it connect. Like have it both connect and kill, like. There, there must be a very, very tiny window for that to actually be true. Okay, sneaking back on stage, getting an up throw into down air. Big damage coming out from Master Mario's part, gets the regrab, trying to go for the war bear, but you know, Razo's just going to air dodge right past it. Double back here, going to put some damage on some Master Mario, and then see another back air. Yet again, oh, last talk for both players are just trying to find their grabs in order to open up the other player, but he gets the re-grab off the air dodge, gets the bear, gets the other bear. He's looking for the edge guard. Not going to be able to find it, but no, he's gone caught in shield, going to grab him, going to send him back on the ledge, and it's going to be rinse and repeat. Oh, no, that was a really bad upbeat, but Master Mario doesn't get punished for it. Gets the there. No. No. Oh, my God, that was so close for Razo. But some great Diaz going to keep Razo in the game. Not losing game two just yet. But ooh, that big forward air coming real close to, to hitting Master Mario. All right. There's a really big fair coming up from Razo. There's the turnip. He has to be wary of. There's the ledge option. Oh, my God. He read the roll, but unfortunately not going to pull the trigger in time. Gets caped, but unfortunately that's not going to be it either. Gets the grab out of the bear. Right. Good match coming out from we're also going to make sure that Master Mario doesn't have enough time to really put enough hummels for that back air, that back throw to kill. But why would you go for a huge forward throw, forward air like that? Oh my God! And then the cross up bear on shield to get behind them. I love that. You know, using the roar up air to kind of get past the uh, turnips so that he wouldn't be hit by it when he tried to get for the upbeat. And Razo reading the roll in, getting out the bear. Dude, that bear is just like, it is probably like a top three move in the entire game. Peach's Bear. It's pretty good. Yeah. It's fairly long lasting for the amount of kill power that it has. And because she can low cancel it, she can just spam it like no other. 
Very true. So bringing the score one one, Master Mario Raza. Okay, back here lands for Razo. And try reading the double the the defensive option right there, but not gonna be able to find it. Lands with a really aggressive Nair and just barely beats out the up smash. You know Raza was charging it just to punish him for doing just that, but you know what? When you fast fall like that, it's just really hard to react with sometimes. Defensive recovery from Smash Mario throwing down the up air and air. Oh, crossing up the field with some up air. It's very difficult to tell where Smash Mario's going to be landing. But Raza's ready with parry. Again, really aggressive upbeat, but not going to be able to get punished by it either. No, Razo's just trying to find his option. Gets the dare, just one or two hits, but you know what? One or two hits is all you need to open up for Peach's kill options. And I love that. He realized he, he did not touch the stage. He was going to go for a regrab, try doing everything he can to avoid it. And Razo realizing that, be like, okay, you're probably going to want to land on stage with whatever you can. I'm just going to float just outside of that so I can fear you. And even if you do grab ledge, I can still float a little bit forward and fear you anyways. Picking up back air at the ledge. Trying to go for some big play with forward air. Getting, really just trying to eliminate this first stock. Right. Oh, gets a really good fair off stage. I love that using the bear to kind of interrupt the turnip. There's, I love that, the, the double bear off of full hop right there. And recovering low, Raza still going to make it back to the stage. Rama is going to bounce off the shield, but in the perfect space to get up smash. And just like that, Raza gets his up smash of his own, you know, not really respecting the amount of instability you have off the Angel platform. Both players are playing extremely well, but you know what? Razo has just kind of been doing a better job walling out Mario so far. That forward air, whoa, whoa, is gonna take the game. I was expecting it to beat, beat up the fireball and really, you know, put Master Mario in a horrible position, but straight into the blast zone? I feel like Master Mario at that point might have wanted the air dodge to, to kind of like get some momentum and unfortunately air dodge into the blast zone maybe. I think it was just an unexpected I don't angle think that Master Mario wasn't ready to DI. I mean, I wouldn't imagine that he wouldn't DI it like poorly enough where it wouldn't like help. I don't know, but that was definitely the result of poor DI. Uh, it, I mean, I'm not disagreeing with you, but like, I'm just surprised that Master Mario would lead to that decision. But going banjo, you know what? It's no it's, way. Yeah. I, I feel like at this point, he's kind of seen the writing on the wall. And you know what? If he can play one last game, go out with a hurrah, why not? Hey, well, I wasn't expecting this pick. I knew that he had been playing Banjo, but I thought it was more of like, I want to play this character for fun, not actually, actually use him in tournament. Right. <laughs> but hey, let's see what Master Mario can do with this character. I like the approaching with uh, the grenade. Kind of reminiscent to how he uses the fireball with Mario. Right. It's actually a really good approaching tool. It is, especially since you can hold on to it like snakes grenades that you can just run up, hold, hold shield, and if they try to grab you or anything for it, then it explodes and then you get a punish off of it. Going out. I love that using the grenade to kind of oppress any like edge guarding that Raza might want to throw out. The only thing you have to be careful for is that he's using, he's expending his air dodge to catch the grenade. So, I mean, that is a valuable resource. But if he's catching a grenade, then he's either trying to reset his recovery with the up B, or he's trying to throw the grenade to be offensive, put some pressure on Razo. I mean, yet again, as long as the grenade, like, you hold on to it, you can always just have it explode and get your uh, up B back again. Like, like, big snipe coming from Razo. Ooh, gonna whip the ground into down smash then. Razo going to use that to open up Banjo right here. Nate, uh, for a spacing tool between the two. 
using the side B. I love that how it just kind of rolled off the platform. And yet again, Razo not mashing too hard to so mess up with Master Mario's timing on the down throw. There's a heavy mash, and yet again, that's the other thing that you can do. It's either heavy mash or no mash. And, you know, with heavy mash, like, you can basically get out of all of uh, Sanjo and Kazooie's, like, true combos. Like, he does have down throw, like, fair if you, like, do, like, light mashing or, like, no mashing at all. But you have to, like, heavy mash immediately. But if you heavy mash and you, like, don't, or if you only, if you uh, use the buttons, like, you might throw out an option that you, like, did not expect. Like, Razo did with the upbeat right there. I'm pretty sure he did not want that. We're starting to see the ledge trap coming out from Master Mario, but a quick back air does land. And another quick back air, but using the side beat at invincibility and the horizontal approach you get with it, the tool that not many are used to having to deal with. I mean, it's basically like a better flare blitz, you know? It is indeed a better flare blitz, but you know, it has a, a finite amount of uses. Right? Well, catches him. Gets the throw in armor, so doesn't die from the ex or doesn't get hurt from the explosion. But you know what? Gets grabbed right there. He's gonna use his double jump and his up B. Gets four smash for it anyways, and there's the air dodge. And yet again, super tricky with his recovery. Razo just couldn't quite peg him down for it. Hey, I'm sure that Razo's keeping track of those feathers. Only right. one golden feather left from Master Mario, and with that being his last dog, that would be the last. Golden feather of the game. Right. Down throw to up beat chase or up air chase, and that's enough to take it. Yeah. Razo is the Wednesday night fight champion. Yeah. Congratulations to Razo. Uh, really good play from both players. And the banjo was exciting. It was yeah. fun. It uh, actually did a little better than I expected. Yeah. I mean, it brought things back to the last stock. So, you know, it definitely didn't do bad. All right, and I think we'll have Razo come up for an interview. What? No. No, 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 no interview. interview. No interview. That was the last time we had an interview at Wednesday Night Fights. No, I. It's been a while. It's we been a while. Not, it's been it's a while. It's not Wednesday anymore. We can't do Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday night fight Wednesday. interview when it's Thur not Wednesday. Thursday morning interview. Yeah. All right. Well, I mean, I think at this point with the tournament wrapping up, it's late. Everybody wants to go home. I think it's about time to send it to the skies. Get them out of here. Go, go.